Hello, 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 hello. How y'all doing? Come in. You know what we're going to make today? So, I'm going to do Yo-Yo's version of shrimp and andouille sausage with okra gumbo today. And so, I'm going to make the roux from scratch. All right? We're going to see how this is going to go. I like my mom and I like my grandmother gumbo. As we know, gumbo is very controversial. <laughs> All right? But, but, we're going to have fun on this video. So it's going to be all positive vibes. Everybody have different versions of gumbo. So just have in the back of your mind, this is my version of me making my little, you know, little gumbo for me. Just here. I feel like I eat something different. And it was on my mind. So I was like, I gotta make it. So come in, everybody. Welcome to Yo Yo's Kitchen. He's from Texas. Yeah. Baby, you can roll. I'm gonna show y'all my ingredients after I give me a little bit of juice. No wine right now. No wine. No wine. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna do that. I am so freaking hungry. I got a little something in my stomach. A little something. Let's see what it's going, okay? Maybe you can roll. Roll with it. Alright, so I'm gonna drink some juice. Hello, hello, everybody coming through. I see ya. It seemed like I spent the night in the kitchen, huh, y'all? <laughs> I wasn't going to cook today, I promise. But I woke up and I was like, hmm, I feel like eating a little gumbo. So, all right, I'm going to pour me some fresh juice. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, this juice is so good. Oh, strawberry peach. I'm going to have to make like a big thing of it. Yes. Hi, Erica. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Carla. Hello, everybody coming through. Hey. So we're going to get right down to it today. Okay. So if you're new and you never seen me cook before, my name is Yolanda Patillo. I'm originally from Houston, Texas. My family is from Morrisville, Louisiana. Cheers, everybody, with my juice today. Mmm. Wow, I never knew that strawberry and peaches can taste that good. It really tastes good. Hi, Mr. Hickman. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Miss Tammy. How you doing? I see a lot of y'all. Lacondra, Aura. I see a lot of people. Yes. I was on live last night. <laughs> Yes, I was making some skinless chicken. Okay, so nice vibes, good vibes up in here. Okay, we're gonna have a good old time, like always. But I'm hungry, y'all. I'm hungry. Mmm. I'm gonna show y'all some of my ingredients, okay? So I'm gonna put it over here, and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna be using, okay? So y'all can see. So listen up, right? I call gumbo the con controversy. It's just, it's just whenever people make gumbo, it's always somebody got to say something about how it should be done, how it should be cooked, what should be put in it. I don't like confrontation of food. Like, you know, I like my mom gumbo, and I got some pointers from her. Because I never really made the roux from scratch, okay? I did a box gumbo one time, and it was controversial. <laughs> I think it's funny because, you know, you can't tell people how to cook. You can't tell people how to cook. That's why it's controversial. And then some people act like they can physically, like, you know, <laughs> taste the food. But anyway, I'm keeping it nice, short, and simple. I had to do, like, a little demo of the roux because it was, like, my first time doing it. So I know I can do it, but I had to get some pointers from my mama. And let me tell you what she said. I thought that shit was hilarious. Oh, my God. 
I said, Mama, so how much? Oh, thank you, Sarah. I said, Mama, how much flour do I use to make the roux? You know what my mama told me? She said, use your imagination. <laughs> Well, damn, I think I, uh, okay. See what I'm saying? Older people don't really measure. They don't measure. People from the country, a lot of people from the country, a lot of black, in the black culture, different cultures, we don't really measure seasoning. My mama said, I asked my mama, how much flour should I use? My mama said, use your damn imagination. <laughs> I was through. <laughs> I said, oh, damn. I was like, okay. So look, this is the first time I do I'm going to show y'all my ingredients, okay? Hello, welcome everybody. Okay, so, first of all, I've already seasoned up my shrimp, so I have some fresh um, shrimp that I got from the seafood department at HEB. I have marinated the shrimp in some lime juice. I seasoned it with my all-purpose. Seasoned it with my all-purpose. And let me tell y'all, I got fresh batches, so y'all need some seasoning. Y'all go ahead and place your orders. I got curry. I got all-purpose seasoning. And I have chicken seasoning, okay? So I have a little bit of onion. I have garlic, okay? I'm going to be using andouille sausage, okay? I'm going to be using that. I got a little bit of bay leaf, okay? All right, I got some serrano pepper down there. And I got some gizzards, okay? I'm gonna be using some chicken gizzards, okay? So this is how my grandmother, this is how my grandmother cooked my her gumbo. Okay, I'm cooking the gumbo how I'm gonna cook it, okay? I'm not really cooking it how my mama cooking it. I ain't really cooking it how my grandmother cooking it. I'm kind of cooking it my way because I told my mom I'm putting okra in my gumbo. She said, uh-uh, you making the okra. <laughs> she said, she said, uh-uh, you making the okra. Um, uh, okra chicken gumbo something. She said, you need to do a red base. I said, no, no. I said, I'm kind of doing it like how Papa Do's do it a little bit. So, I love Papa Do's gumbo. And in their gumbo, they have okra. I like okra. I think okra in a gumbo tastes good. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start with the roux. And, but first of all, first of all, I got the chicken gizzards, okay? So, I asked my mom. I said, mama, what do I do? How do I... How do I cook the gizzards? Do I just kind of see them? Because y'all know I feel every damn thing. And she was like, um, she said, no, you boil it. She said to boil the gizzards. So I'm about to boil the gizzards. But I'm also going to put some vinegar and clean them up real quick, okay? So whenever I have meat, I always clean my meat with vinegar and water, y'all. I see y'all on. Who like gumbo up in here? Give me some thumbs up. So I just added some vinegar to the gizzards to clean it, all right? And, I mean, you can let them soak a little bit, but I just wash them. To me, when I do my meat like that, I got that from my grandmother. It feels, you know, and it tastes very clean, all right? So I'm not going to really season it. Because the juice from the juice, everything was everything get layered just like how I do my, my soup. The taste is gonna enhance and it's gonna taste more and more flavorful with the juice, okay? So okay, so you can And I'm cutting it on, okay? So my mama said, boil the gizzards. Okay, so I'm boiling my gizzards, just like how my mama say. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of Celtic sea salt. Balling my gizzards, okay. That's the first thing we're doing, okay. But before we get started, I know I'm just kind of jumping fast because I'm hungry and I'm thinking about how this is gonna taste when I finish, okay. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick. 
So this is my book, everybody. Yo-Yo's Kitchen, Cook It With Passion. If y'all don't have my book, you can buy it on Amazon. Okay. And then I also have my all-purpose seasons. I be selling these like crazy. The restaurant loves it. Okay. I have fresh batches. I also have chicken seasoning, y'all. Chicken seasoning has organic rosemary and other flavors as well. It does taste very different from the all-purpose. I also have a curry spice. I'm out of that. I have to make some more. Okay. So, yes, 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 yes. So, got the gizzards over here balling. So, I'm going to ball the gizzard. I did add just a little bit of salt. Celtic salt. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm going to add chicken. If I need to add any chicken or if I decide at the end I want to add a little bit of chicken, it's probably going to be the chicken that I cooked last night because I don't want to waste no food. And it's drumsticks, so drumsticks taste very good in gumbo, okay? So let's go ahead. Whew, Lord, please, just take me on this gumbo. <laughs> y'all ready? Holla, holla, Shonda. Hello, everybody. I see y'all. Hi, Miss Deborah. How you doing? I request a bowl when you are. All right, you can have some. I never put gizzards in my gumbo. I like seafood and sometimes a chicken gumbo. Yes, my family, my grandmother, she put gizzards. And it tastes so good. Maybe the real people, like, I'm not going to say the real people, but the older crowd or people that's really from the country, like I said, gumbo is very confrontational. You can put whatever the hell you want in gumbo. I don't give a damn. It's like a soup to me. A gumbo is like a good soup. Um, seafood gumbo. I love seafood gumbo. I don't eat food that I got to fight with, like crabs and stuff like that. If I got to fight to eat my food, then I don't I don't want it. I do like those big, uh, what you call them, big crabs, the red pretty ones, the red and white ones, the thick ones, this meaty. They expensive, but I love that in a gumbo. Okay, but I'm making this simple. Let's get started. Oh, y'all, that juice is so good. It's so refreshing. Okay, so my mama said to put three, three spoons full of flour. Okay. So I, I kind of practice with this a little bit, y'all. All right. Okay. Four. And all I know, I gotta keep stirring this, y'all. And then what I did earlier, and it, it came out so pretty, I had added a little bit of butter. Okay. So I'm still kind of putting my twist on it. I am putting my twist on it. Okay. You already knew that. And I was gonna do it. I was gonna do this in my skillet. I was gonna do it like in my big skillet that cooked real good, y'all. Y'all know the one I use all the time, right? So, I looked up recipes. I was like, you know what? Everybody cooks gumbo different. That's what makes it unique. I don't have to have it where it's so, um, so much seafood in it. Who had Papa Do's gumbo? That's uh, Papa Do's. They have Papa Do's in Texas. I don't know if they have Papa Do's like in different states. I'm quite sure they probably do. Okay, so hold on. So I did add just a little bit of butter, okay? Land the lakes. Okay. My mama said, do not let it burn. I said, okay. So I did add a little bit of butter, okay? And comfortable. Giving the butter a little chance. And she say, stir, 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 stir. Y'all, my oil gonna be hurting. Shit. All right, we're gonna see what's gonna go. So I did it earlier. I put a little quick video. I was practicing. That was a practice, okay? So now I'm actually making a gumbo. So my mama did say three spoons. All right. So if you feel like you need to add anything, like right now, I do feel like I need to add a little bit more oil, okay? So I added a little bit more oil. Okay, I did add just a little, little bit of butter. My 
gonna turn it up just a little bit. Okay. So take note. I probably do some things that's very different. She's doing better. Thank you, Linda. I use butter for my root and use a whisk. It helps it out. Thank you, Angela. I don't think I have a whisk. So that's why I'm using this damn spoon. So yeah, I added a little bit more grease and I did add, I like the way the butter had made it kind of smooth. Yes. Okay. All right. So watch me. This is how I'm doing it, y'all. I'm listening to y'all, but this is how I'm doing it, okay? So I know everybody have different ways on how they do. So that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I actually did it in my skillet over there. So I'm mixing, 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 mixing. I'm going to add a little bit more. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Come on. Okay. My gizzard was kind of overflowing. And that's what I did. I didn't keep mixing it. I kind of like let it foam up just a little bit right here. I let it foam up a little bit, okay? Now y'all know. So I'm going to let it It's going to get dark while this started, okay? Confrontational gumbo. We ain't going to have no confrontational. Everybody have different ways on how they cook it. I'm making my video easy. The way I would make it. Okay. But just have the understanding that everybody does it different. Like I said, my family, we use, we use, I like boneless chicken sometimes in my gumbo. But drumsticks taste good in gumbo. So my family put drumsticks. They put gizz, my grandmother put gizzards. Um, she put um, shrimps. And she used dried shrimps. I know that for a fact. And she used good sausage in her gumbo. Those are just a few things I know how my grandmother, not my mama. My mama makes her gumbo um, maybe kind of similar to my grandmother. Maybe a, a little similar. You know what I'm saying? She makes it a little similar. Need you, I need you, I need you. I wish I had some broth or something. Let me drain this a little bit. Alright, so the gizzards are still cooking over here. So I wanted to get a nice, it says, I've been reading like a lot of things. It's actually saying, um, you want it to be like a peanut butter color, okay? But when my mama did hers, it was like a nice, kind of like a dark brown. So I kind of want to get that type of color, like kind of like a little bit darker brown. Okay, this is too light. Now y'all know I want to throw some damn basil up in here, right? So the thing is with the gizzard, yes, I'm cooking the gizzard. So I'm going to let the gizzard cook. But I ain't going to let them cook all the way, all the way. Because everything is going to cook inside of the gumbo anyway. Okay. So I'm still stirring. Cut up the heat because I had lowered it down because I didn't want it to cook too fast, okay? Mixing it real good. Just mixing it, let it cook on there. Damn, that's crazy. When you need stuff, you know, you can never find it, right? I don't know where my damn list is. Okay, so the color is trying to form a little bit. It's getting a little bit darker, okay? I'm doing it my way. That's right. I do like a chocolate myself. Yes, I do like a dark color. Okay, so look, it's starting to form. I don't have to heat up too high, okay? Sir, 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 sir. My hand hurts. Oh, gosh. Gives us over here cooking. All right. I got my distilled water over here. Thank y'all for tuning in. I was not. I was not going to cook. I already have a lot of oil in there. I don't want to put too, too, too much. But as I need it, I will put more. So 
So yes, yeah, so everybody have their own way, and I know because everybody's from different places. Okay. I have never attempted to make it a gumbo from scratch. Y'all see what I did on my last video? I just brought the roux. I just brought the um. Okay, it's looking good so far. Okay, I just brought um the box gumbo, but I freestyle it out because I had salmon. And I cooked the salmon, and I, I think I seared it, then I baked it. And on top of the gumbo that I made that time, I put it on top of my gumbo, the salmon. And people was like, oh, no, you don't put salmon on gumbo. You can do whatever you want. That's one thing people don't understand. When people cook, you can't tell people how to cook. Mm. And that gumbo ended up being very good, y'all. Okay, so I'm still stirring, okay? I'm liking the way it's looking a little bit thinner when I added a little bit more oil. So it does look a little bit more thinner. I do like that, okay? Probably gonna add just a little bit more. Ooh, y'all, I'm on E. <laughs> I'm on E. I wanna throw some seasonings, I can't wait. For everything to come together, okay. Stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, okay. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit because I don't want it to cut too. I don't want it to cook too fast, okay. Thinning it out some more, okay. Yeah, gumbo is a headache. Why did I do this today? <laughs> but that's okay. It's gonna be good. Yes, so it's more all in there. All right, still stirring. Thank y'all for all of y'all feedback. Yes, for you. Okay, still mixing it, mixing it. And I did like my mama said. She said like three big spoons of flour, y'all. That's what I'm doing. I can tell that the flour is trying. I can tell that the flour is trying to get thicker. And that is trying to get brown. So that's a good sign. Oh, I want to throw some basil up in here. Damn it. This is so hard. This is so hard. Yes, you're right. A gumbo is the way that you like it. Because, you know, everybody don't eat shrimp. Some people are allergic to shrimp. Some people don't eat, um, um, they don't eat lobster. Some, I like lobster. Um, some people don't eat fish. It's a lot of, when it comes to seafood, it's a lot of people have allergies to seafood. So me, honestly, I really, really enjoy a bowl of gumbo. It doesn't have to have all of that in it. But the two things that I have to have, it has to be seasoned properly. The gravy, I don't have to have my gravy super thick or, or super dark, no. As long as they have a good flavor, I like fresh rice on top of my gumbo. Gotta have a good sausage. So, I keep saying papados, y'all. I must want some of papados. So, papados, I like that gumbo because I'm still stirring. Oh, uh, thank you, Kanisha. So, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm still stirring. Stir, 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 still stirring, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna let it get brown up some more. I'm just making sure it does not burn. Okay, the color is trying to come together more. I'm liking the way it looks. See how it looks? It's not too thick. It's kind of thinned out with the grease. Now, my mom said that my auntie does not use all when she makes her roux. She said she just does the flour. And she said something about, I think it gets darker when you don't use all. She said she thinks it gets, yes, I know. Papa Do's Gumbo. You taste Papa Do's Gumbo, gumbo Kanisha? It's really good. Y'all know I'm supposed to hook up the herbs up in here as soon as I, okay. I'm just trying to pay attention to this. I'm still mixing, 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 y'all. I gotta have flavor. So I know the flavor's gonna be on point, y'all. Cause y'all know I got my seasonings on standby, my all-purpose right here. Okay, so it's kind of turning this peanut butter, peanut butter type of, you know, it's kind of turning it. Y'all know I'm about to remix this in a second, right? It just don't feel right. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm trying to keep it basic right now. 
And y'all know it's hard. It's a struggle. I'm trying to keep it bas uh, real basic. I'm drinking juice, Toya. I'm drinking, I think it's peach, Tropicana peach and strawberry. And it's so good. Too early for mine. I'll try everything there left. The gumbo is good. All right. So, Kanisha, what do you taste in their gumbo? Because I, what I've seen in their gumbo, it was okra for sure. It was andouille sausage for sure. It had crab meat or something in it. I like the shrimp. They have different types. So, I think the one that I get when I do go. Hi, Miss Hernandez. How you doing? Thank you for tuning in. Okay. So, all right. It's looking good. I don't feel like I need to add anything else to this. It's getting a little bit darker. Okay. Can y'all see? It's trying to get a little bit darker there, which is nice. Okay, so it's kind of like this. Can y'all see the color? You want it darker? I want it darker, okay? Yes. It's actually you don't need all if you have a cast iron. Thank you, Miss Julia. And Dooley sausage is bomb. Yes, it is. I get it from New Orleans. Oh, I know it's good. I know it's good, especially if you get it from New Orleans. No, I don't have my pie burn sausages now. I don't have my pie burn sausages, y'all. But if I did, okra and Dooley sausage, shrimp, crab. Thank you. Thank you. That's how I like it. Because every time I eat that gumbo, I can't get enough. And then they give you that small, small bowl. So it's like, oh, man. Hi, Teresa. Hey, Chef. Love watching you. Dallas, Texas. Hi. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for being un, you know, not controversial. Because <laughs> I try to make my videos fun, y'all. I don't, I like when people come and watch me cook. I like for everybody to be in a good spirit. You know what I'm saying? I like for everybody to get along. I like for us to communicate and kind of build sh friendships amongst each other that's the kind of um you know vibes i like here okay okay it's trying to get a little bit darker here you go this is the color it is right now okay trying to get a little bit darker i'm not adding any more anything else in there because i like the way it's kind of like liquidy so i know it's enough all you know from the all i did put a little bit of lemon lace butter okay I'm just going to let it get hot right there. I'm not going to stir it for a second. Notice when you don't stir it, it gets thicker. You see, it gets thicker when you don't stir it. So, I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it relax for a little bit, okay? I want some. Where are you at, Miss Tanika? I'm in Houston, Texas. I just feel like eating the gumbo. Hey, Chaz, I'm making a shrimp and andouille gumbo. So I'm in the process right now of doing my roux. So I've never really done a roux before because I be trying to do stuff quick. But you were saying, oh, girl, I love it. <laughs> I know everybody like the way I say, oh. It's all good. <laughs> I put crawfish tail, shrimp, sausage, okra, and shredded chicken. Thank you. Thank you, Karina. See, as you can see here, people responding, and they responding in different ways, okay? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm going to do it from scratch because the last time, you remember, um, Chad, the last time I made um, gumbo, I made gumbo from the box. My family is from Louisiana, Sean. They from Morgansville, Louisiana. But see, whenever I want gumbo, I don't even mess with gumbo. I eat my mom's gumbo. I eat my grandmother's gumbo. But you know, I need to learn, I need to do my own gumbo. Because sometimes I know that if I make it, it's going to come out bomb. I just haven't, haven't did it. So I'm drinking and I'm stirring. <laughs> Y'all should see me over here. Welcome to me, God. Uh-oh. Oh, my song. So I'm still stirring it, okay? Yes. Can y'all see the color now? All right. Still want it to get more brown, okay? 
frying it. How I'm doing, y'all? I'm doing okay so far. This is going to take a long time to make. No, it's not. Watch this. When you know how to cook, it shouldn't take a long time to do anything. Shrimp. Okay, I'm making mine really basic, right? That's how you know, Nicole. Uh, you know what I was going to say? My gumbo is really simple. It's a duly sausage. Shrimp. One pound of shrimp. Um, gizzards. What color does they have to be? I've read things and it said like a peanut butter color. But I do like it to be a little bit darker than the peanut butter color. Okay. To me, it's peanut butter color right now. Hey, Monet. How you doing? That's the color it is now. Okay. So I'm still starting. It's starting to get darker. All right. I'm going to let it get darker. I do want to, I want it to so bad. I'm checking out my gizzards. My gizzards look good, y'all. Okay. I'm boiling it. Okay. Add a little bit more water. Oh, yep. Y'all see that? So I know a lot of people say you got to stir, stir, stir. Yeah, you do got to stir. The longest part is making the roux. Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to see how long I can go. You need your own cooking channel. You're so bubbly and fun to watch. Oh, thank you, Anaya. You never know what God has in store for me. I do a lot of stuff. I design jewelry. I make natural products entrepreneur you know what I'm saying with a background in medical so I love to do the cooking shows I think it's really fun now you making me want some <laughs> you enjoy the white oh thank you Sylvia thank y'all everybody that's seeing thank y'all it's good I came early right I'm always sweating on my nose That's all I'm saying. I like to hear uh, Faith sing this song. <laughs> Faith is funny, y'all. The brownies was good last night. Who see my brownie? Okay, I'm still stirring. As y'all can see, it's getting darker. Look at that. It's getting darker. It's getting darker. Yay. Okay, still stirring. I like to kind of let it sit just for a second. I like to let it sit for a second because I think when you let it sit for a second, you like, oh, yes, I love okra. Oh, I love it. So I have frozen okra I'm going to put. Yes. And then I was like, okay, well, how long do you need to keep stirring this to make the roux? Some recipes had kind of called for like maybe like 10 minutes or something like that. Because think about it, it's like a soup. This is the foundation of the gumbo. So the foundation of the gumbo, in our reality, is the most important part. Because once you have a good foundation, you can build on top of that, right? So what I want to do, I'm trying to hurry up with this foundation so I can start building my flavors. Because I know, I know, I already know the flavors are going to be awesome. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to plug in my phone. Hold on. Dang! It don't seem like I've been on here that long for my phone to be going down already. Oh, goodness. Anyway. Alright. It should be okay now. Hold on. Okay. Yay. Yeah, it's back to number. Play. I'm a huge fan. I would love to do a collaboration with you. I'm a cook and a 21-year-old veteran bartender. Oh, cool. Where you from? A lot of people want to um, collaborate with me. And I don't have no problem with that. I think collaborations can be very fun. I'm also on YouTube, y'all. So make sure y'all add me on YouTube on the Yo-Yo's Kitchen, okay? Yay. I like it when chefs watch me. I really do. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is, 
Um, okay, I'm gonna pin my website for y'all. So if y'all need any seasonings, my seasonings, my all-purpose seasonings. If y'all need chicken seasoning, if y'all need some curry seasoning, who needs some seasoning? You go right there to that link. www.yoyos creation. I know, I'm tired too, Bertha. <laughs> but it's, it's starting to form a nice color, okay? It's kind of looking more okay, as y'all can see. It's getting darker. Yay. All right, it's getting darker. So, okay. So, what y'all think about the color now? Color is okay? The color is okay, y'all? Give me some thumbs up. <laughs> Please add me as your friend. If I'm not your friend, please add me as your friend, okay? Thank you, Clay. Yes, thank you. I would love to do a collab. Oh, what state are you in? I have to look at your profile after the video. All right, sir, 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 sir. I'm going to upload this video, y'all. So today's subject is the controversial gumbo. Because, you know, gumbo can be made in so many different ways. Using so many. A little darker. Thank you, Kanisha. So, it is coming out like a pretty, it's like a pretty peanut butter right now. Okay. But, yes, I want it darker. Okay. Thank y'all for paying attention and watching me as I go. Y'all know I want to throw some damn basil up in here, right? Y'all know I do. I really, really, really want to throw some basil. Okay? Y'all, this is a lot of work. I remember one time a lady wanted me to make a big ass pot of gumbo for her family, right? Send a thousand thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, darker. I guess I don't know how it's supposed to look, but you got it. Thank you. It's getting there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Kanisha, you my gumbo advisor. <laughs> I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Okay, so when you say do a collaboration, you mean like on YouTube or something? Or on Facebook? I'm going to let y'all see. Y'all don't want to see me. Y'all want to see the food. So look, the color. I like to kind of let it sit for a second. I feel like when you let it sit for a second... It makes it get darker, and it makes it it makes it get a little bit thicker. I would say, not for long. Just just let it do it for a little bit. Okay. All right. So that's good. I got my drink right here, and I'm sipping, y'all, while I'm doing this. My hand don't hurt, but you know, it's just a lot of work, basically. Okay. I like the smooth texture. I like that it looks smooth, so I do like that. So this is where we at right now. We right here right now, okay? I don't feel like I need any more flour or none of that up in there because you don't want it to be too thick either. My gizzards are doing fine over here. My gizzards are still boiling, okay? So my mom was like, you want to boil your gizzards? I said, do I need to season them? She said, no. Yes, it's getting to that color, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So like I said, I never made gumbo roux from scratch. Either is fine. Okay, thank you, Clay. So yes, now me, I like to saute and um, cook things before I kind of put it in my soup. Um, so I got the sausage, okay? So I'm going to play around with that. I'm, I'm like ready to throw stuff in. I'm ready to throw because I don't think it's going to take the gumbo a long time to make. After the roux, even though this is taking a long time. Um, I don't think it's going to take long for my style of gumbo to cook because I have sausage and shrimp. How long does it take shrimp to cook? Not long. How long does it take sausage to cook? Not very long. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be nice and hot. Everything is just going to kind of, you know, looking good. Keep going. Thank you, Tammy. All right. So I'm almost ready to stop y'all, but I'm trying to hold on. Okay, it is getting darker, so that's good. Yay! All right, so I'm still stirring. Let it sit for a second. 
Y'all don't know how tempted, tempted, tempted I am to throw some damn basil up in here. Y'all don't even know. Okay, stirring it still. All right. I'm liking the colors. It's almost there. Almost there. Oh. Yes, yes. It's up. It's down pretty low. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't used to making this. I'm used to knowing my little steps. Y'all know I do my two steps. Put it in the oven. Season it. You have to continue. I don't want to. I'm ready to stop. I'm about to stop in a minute. I don't have to have my gravy super dark. I just like a nice deep dark, like a nice deep brown gravy. It doesn't have to be super. I like basil like that also. And you do? Oh, we, so we kind of cook similar, Miss Tammy. Because I like cilantro and I love basil. Like, I don't keep. I don't keep. I don't keep. You know what I'm saying? All right, so it's looking darker. Let me let y'all see. Okay. How long I been at this, y'all? Y'all see? It's getting darker, all right? It's getting darker, which is a good sign, okay? So like you say, this is this is what takes the longest part in the gumbo. So damn, I can't even think of people that make you know like restaurants how they make gumbo from scratch gumbo is a lot of work y'all it's a lot a lot a lot of work but you enjoy it so much after you finish okay this is the colors looking good look at that it's looking good color looking darker okay i'm gonna let it go a little bit more yes this is teaching me something never made. And I'm teaching myself too. And I'm listening to y'all opinions, of course. I know it's going to be good because I already know how I'm going to season it up. And I already know what I'm putting it in there. I'm still stirring, okay? Yes. All right. <laughs> Somebody said too long. I'm sleepy. I know I'm like this. <laughs> Hello. So welcome everybody coming in. I'm making a rule to my gumbo. I've never really made a rule. This is my first time. Whenever I want gumbo, I just go to my grandmother's house. <laughs> oh, my mama. She always cook it for Christmas. Or um, she cooks it for Christmas. I don't think she cooks it for um. She don't cook it for Thanksgiving. She cooks it for Christmas. Oh. Oh, okay. It's getting darker. Good. Look. It's getting darker. Okay. I'm about to stop. I'm just trying to let it go as long as I did cut the heat up just a little, little, little bit more because I know if the heat is up, it's going to cook, you know, it's going to cook a little bit faster and maybe get dark a little bit. I did add, let me tell you what I did do though. I did add a little bit of Lamb of Lakes butter because when I was practicing earlier, I was like, oh, I kind of like the way the butter made it more smoother. It made it look more smoother. Oh, thank you, Cassandra. Oh, she said, man, you are so dang cute. And I absolutely love your laugh. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. That's a nice compliment. Thank y'all for watching. I'm about ready to throw these on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What you call them damn things, y'all? Hmm. It's still over there. Boil that. My mama said, let it get tender. I caught her. But that was the funniest thing ever. I said, mama, how much flour I use to make gumbo? Or how much you use to make your gumbo? My mama said, shit, use your imagination. <laughs> I can't. But it's always the best way to go, love. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm liking the color. 
I'm liking the color. All right. It looks good. Let me show y'all. It's, it's darker. Can y'all see that now? It's darker. I'm going to see how long I can go. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not putting no more oil. I'm not putting no more none of that in there. I ain't putting no more flour. I ain't putting no more none of that up in there, okay? Alright. I like the color. The color is nice, okay? Yeah. Let me cut back on. Okay, that looks good. Yeah. Alright. What y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? Hold on. Let me cut it down. Hold on. Alright. Ooh, let me cut it down. Actually, it is down. Okay. Y'all see that now? I changed spoons. Alright, oh, okay, look at that. Look how dark it got. Y'all see that? Yay, look at that. I switched my spoons. You can buy rue in the store, you can. If you don't feel like doing all of this, but it's so much cheaper, I'm assuming. No, I don't want chocolate. Ah. Uh -uh. I don't like my rue that dark, Lonnie. My family don't, I mean... My, I, I don't know. I haven't seen my grandmother make it. I seen her make it, but I wasn't really paying attention. Attention, but it is okay. Like right now, it's a nice chocolate color. It don't have to be too dark for me. I'm gonna tell y'all. I like really, really, really like um, Papa Do's gumbo. So I'm trying to imitate it a little bit. Okay, let Right. And it looks good. Look at that. It don't got darker. And I got it on low. Okay. Yes. Still mixing, still mixing. Alright. I'm liking the way it's coming out. Oh, I can tell my mama I made a roof from scratch. She's gonna be so proud. Look at that. Alright. Yes. Indoor, and I have the temperature on low, y'all. All right, I see the color when you switch spoons. Okay, you seen it? It looks good now, right, Kanisha? I'm ready to start adding my onion. I'm ready to start adding all of that. Matter of fact, I'm just to start. Oh, it's gonna be good. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm so happy y'all have a sense of humor about it. Lonnie said, if it ain't chocolate looking, I'm calling the root police. <laughs> I know that's right. Okay, it looks good. Look, 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 look. Check it out, y'all. Check it out. Look at the color. Ooh, it's getting dark. Y'all see? Y'all see? Kamisha said yes. Okay, I'm liking this color now, y'all. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, I like it. Okay, bam. There you go. I'm stopping. I got I need I need an onion. I need some onion. I need some garlic. I need every damn thing. I feel like I'm neglecting on the spices, y'all. Alright. Yeah, it's getting darker. I see it. Woo! It's getting darker, y'all. It's getting darker. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right. 
Oh yeah, it don't got thicker. Oh yeah. Look at that, y'all. Nice color. Nice color. Okay, let me see. I'm cooking a roux from scratch. I'm making a quick shrimp and dooley sausage with gizzards. Before, but I love you cooking. Thank you, Miss Kelani. It's coming together more now. Okay, I'm about to add some onion. I'm stopping. Okay, I'm not stopping, but I'm not stirring as much now. I'm still stirring a little bit over here. I'm stirring a little bit. I'm ready to start adding my seeds. I'm just going to go ahead and lean it on. Put it on the side. I'm trying to keep going, but I'm tired of stirring. All right. Hold on. Okay, so check it out. It's brown. Y'all see that? It's dark brown now. This is darker. Wow. It got darker kind of quick toward the end, y'all. It really did. All right. I like that color. I like this color now. This color right here is perfect for me. I like it. All right. What are you talking about, powder? Flour? I've been meaning to contact you to tell your daughter loves her eczema soap bar. So I will be ordering from Yay, that's good. She like it. Can y'all see that? Y'all make sure y'all go to my store online. I make natural body products from scratch. I am a developer. I make all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm loving it. It's getting even darker. It's getting darker. It's getting darker. Okay, check it out. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. Hi, Carl. How you doing? Welcome. Oh, you know what? My mom told me. She did tell me this. She said that when she make her gumbo, she fries her chicken halfway. So my mama put drumsticks um, in her gumbo. So when she make her gumbo, she says she fries her chicken and put it in there. Yes. If your roux burns, you have to start over. So be careful. Yes, yes. Thank you. I'm paying close attention. I feel like I've been stirring forever. Okay. I think the roux color looks perfect. This is perfect for me. Okay. I like the color. All right. So now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding some spices. I'm going to start adding. Y'all know it's killing me, right? Y'all know it's killing me. Then I got to add something in here. Alright? Y'all already know. I got to add a little bit of onions. And it's still kind of getting brown. So it's now to add the flavor, yeah. Okay. So this is my style, y'all. All right, I'm still watching it. Yeah, gumbo is very confrontational. No, I don't like tar I don't like dark chocolate. But everybody does it different. So if you do yours like that, hey, it's still good. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of scat. See, I like to season my stuff. All right, I can't be doing all this. This is scat, y'all. All right. I'm going to put some spice in there, too. All right. That's it. Add my gizzards. Just start adding a little bit of water. Slowly, slowly but surely, okay? So, still stirring. So, now I'm going to add the gizzards. So, I'm just a drain. I'm about to drain the gizzards. Thank y'all for sharing my information. My link is right here.
All right, so I got the gizzards, okay? So these are the gizzards right here, and I'm about to add. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, this is going to be good. So the gizzards is in there. Now I'm just going to add more water. So I did add the gizzards, onions, scallions, no seasoning yet. And as I keep cooking, I'm assuming it's going to get darker. All right. Okay, so I got a little bit of seasoning. All right, so what I'm going to do now. I'm from Houston, Texas. Call. I'm a home cook. I got my shrimps right here on reserve. Seasoning um, is actually seasoned in lime juice. She's 15 and loves it so much. Thank you, Tatum. Yes, I do have bay leaves. I'm just trying to build it right now. So now what I'm supposed to do, it needs more meat. I got my andouille sausages right here. So the longer it keeps cooking, of course, um, it's going to get dark and darker. And then I'm going to play around and put some more spices up in there. Y'all, that was some work. That was some work, for real. So this is the Andouille sausages. So if I went to the meat market, I would have got pie burn sausages. Everybody now use pie burn sausages. But I'm gonna use and do these sausages, okay? Alright, got that out. I want my sausages. Thank you. God damn it, come on, sausage shit. Shit! <laughs> okay, sorry y'all. I'm using a duly sausage, okay? I'm walking around with the sausage. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's cut this heat up now. Alright, we're gonna cut up the heat. Alright, so I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna just can y'all see me okay? I'm gonna cut kind of like in the middle. Okay, I'll do that one in a second. And I don't, I want, I, I don't like big, big sausages in my gumbo. I want them to be kind of like about maybe a half an inch, maybe. Kind of thin, not too thick. Because, you know, you want a lot in there, right? Yeah. So that's one. I'm gonna throw like a bay leaf and stuff in there. Hello, hi Mark, how you doing? So now I got the other part, the other half of the sausage. Cut it dead in the center. Hold it, stretch it out, whatever you gotta do. Okay, again, not too, not too um, wide, okay? Yes, I like it to be kind of smaller portions, okay? So, yes, that's what we're going to do. I want to also add the other half of that other onion. I want to put the whole onion in there, okay? All right, y'all. The gizzards are in there. Alright. Yeah, so you see how that one package of sausage made a whole bunch of sausages? It's because of how I'm cutting it. Cut it in half. Alright. 
And I think andouille sausages taste so good in a dog. Oh, thank you, Camille. All right, so I'm adding more sausages, okay? So I'm just gonna stir that real good, real quick, okay? Now I probably thought maybe uh, some cook, I had cooked some drumsticks last night, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add the other half of the onion. Oh yeah, my head is hurting. I feel like I, I haven't really eaten, so, you know? So yes, if you're just coming in, I'm making a shrimp and dooley gumbo. Um, and it also has, um, hold on. let me add this onion up in there. I do not want it to be lacking seasoning. I haven't even seasoned it yet. And gizzards in there. My grandmother put gizzards in hers, seafood, chicken, you know. All right, so adding that. Yeah, I do. I don't think I have bell pepper, but I have scallion. I have everything else. I got serrano pepper. I'm about to spice it up. I think I'm going to use like a half, okay? Then I'm going to put it into smaller portions. So I'm not going to leave it rounded, okay? That's how much I'm putting in there. No salary. I didn't get no salary. But yeah, salary would have probably gave it a really good flavor too. Okay, so. I like the mama sausages. Okay. Nah! Okay. I'm going to use my Yo-Yo's Kitchen all-purpose seasoning. Alright? I don't want to lack on my seasoning. Alright? I'm going to also add some regular salt. I'm also going to put a little bit of garlic up in here. Okay? I'm also going to put a bay leaf. So I'm going to put a bay leaf. You know, the bay leaf kind of gives it a nice flavor. So I have not added the shrimp. I'm going to add the shrimp at the very end. It's still marinating in lime juice, okay? So remember, freestyle your um, gumbo out using the ingredients that you like. If you don't like, if you don't like, you know, certain stuff, you don't have to put it in. Make it your own. It's no rules and regulations of what you can put in your gumbo. Because everybody don't eat the same thing, you know what I'm saying? But I'm so proud of myself! Yes, I'm so proud of myself. Okay. I'm going to put. Mmm. Smells good. And you know, like things like ground Camino. Ground Camino gives like um, soups a real good flavor. Okay. So you don't eat the bay leaf, it's only in there for flavor, right? To give it flavor. Okay. So I did put a few bay leaf up in there. I'm just stirring. It has gizzard sausage in there already, y'all. Okay. So what I'm probably going to do. Oh, I can see it's getting darker. I like that. Okay. I did serrano. I did one whole onion. I did scallions. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save some scallions because I do. Oh, what, what I wanted to do. I wanted to add some fresh garlic. Okay. Garlic make everything taste good. So I don't want to miss the garlic. Okay. Especially when we gumbo because, you know, when you eat your gumbo, you want flavor, right? I'm going to be adding my okra in here in a second. But for right now, I'm cutting a clove of garlic up in there, fine pieces, okay? Yes, that's one clove. So I'm going to go ahead and do two cloves of garlic up in my gumbo, everybody. Simple gumbo. Okay. I can't really see what y'all see. No, this is mostly gonna be shrimp. I'm doing a shrimp sausage and dooley sausage gizzards. I'm making a simple gumbo. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna mix everything together like that. I'm loving the color. I'm loving the color. Okay. So I got that in there. So I do have some chicken. What I think I'm gonna do. Hold on, y'all. Okay.
Okay. Charge and stop. Okay, hold on. So, watch this, right? So, <laughs> I'm sweating. I feel like I've been whipping this gumbo. It's looking good. It's looking, and I know the flavor's gonna be on point. That andouille sausage. Oh, wow. No, see, Cole, I wasn't gonna do chicken. I wasn't gonna do chicken. It's just shrimp. I got the shrimps on reserve over here. The shrimp's gonna be added last, okay? I got shrimp and dooley sausage chicken gizzards, okay? So that's um like three meats, right? Yeah, something like that, right? Okay, so just to give it a little bit more, and I don't wanna waste my chicken. My chicken is already cooked. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I cooked it last night. Just because, oh, I got an order! Damn, I'm live and made a sale. Isn't that something? Thank you for whoever that was. They just went to my store and brought something. This is my leftover chicken from last night. It is skinless chicken, okay? So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to throw a few pieces of, of that. I'm going to throw. Hold on. Thank you, Lena. Oh, you so sweet. Thank you. That was you. You surprised me. Thank you for your order. I'll put in leftover chicken. Okay, it's already cooked. So I'm going to put like three. I'm going to do four. Ain't no need of wasting no food, right? Okay. So I just added chicken. I already know that chicken is seasoned up really good already. Uh oh. Yes. Okay, so I just added. Yes, that looks good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I use my oh, y'all see what I'm saying? I cooked the chicken last night. It was in the refrigerator. I put bay leaves up in here too, y'all. I wish I would have got some celery. I was just thinking quick, 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 quick. Like a quick gumbo. So ooh, what I don't have in here that I'm about to do right now, because y'all know I gotta add it. I'm just going to add. Oh, I got some gumbo file. Hold on. Okay, so basil. Organic basil. You got to add the basil. It gives it a nice freshness. Okay. So I did put a few pieces of those drumsticks. That's also going to make this gravy turn, you know, darker in color, which is I'm loving the color already. I got a lot of onion, one whole onion, a little bit of spice, serrano pepper, and dooley sausage. Looking good, looking good. <coughs> okay, so I'm trying to see what else. So, all right, hold on, let me move this. <laughs> Woo! I, I do want to add some more water. So whenever you make a gumbo, you know, just get you a big thing of water. You don't want to use no faucet. I'm going to add some more water to this, okay? I'm going to add right there. Bam. That's enough right there. Right there. That's good. Okay, so I added some more water. Right there. Okay, so I'm going to add some more water. And remember, I also put, um, I also put, um, what else I put in here? Damn. Damn, this looks so good, y'all. I'm going to start my rice in a second. Okay. <laughs> What time is it, somebody? All right. I have cilantro also, but I'll leave the cilantro out for right now, okay? It's looking good. Looking good. I like the way it looks, okay? Woo, maybe I can talk to y'all a little bit. Yes, I seen that you can do that as well. Use chicken broth and veggie broth. Thank you, Angela. Yes. I don't want it darker. You got to remember, it's just like when people say, how do you make a, a gravy? A gravy makes itself, okay? If I was to put chicken like yesterday in the oven, you can sprinkle a little bit of flour if you want the texture to be a little bit thicker. With the seasonings, with the water, it's going to make its own gravy. So just like with this gumbo, this is the color I like my gumbo. I don't have to have my gumbo super duper duper dark. I just don't have to. You know what I'm saying? 
I like it to look juicy. I like I, the thing is the gravy. I want to taste it so bad, but I know, I know the flavors are there. <laughs> it's time for me to head on down to your house for some good. <laughs> Just a little Worcestershire sauce, but everybody's different. Yeah, and I got plenty of it in here. I keep that in stock, especially for my ribeyes. But hey, it don't hurt. Hold on, I wanted to add something else. I'm gonna put some pure gumbo file in here. Ooh, that makes the gumbo taste good too, right? Ooh, sorry y'all, I almost lost y'all. Okay, so this is the gumbo file. I'm gonna go ahead and add. Okay, I added a little bit of, up in there, okay? Go ahead and mix that up in there. Okay. It up, mix it up. So I do have a few little pieces of drumstick. I'm so happy I'm using these drumsticks so they won't be wasted. So the very last thing I'm gonna be adding in here, y'all. Y'all see the gizzards? My grandmother put gizzards, so I put gizzards. Y'all see all that spice? Ooh. Yo yo's kitchen all purpose seasoning. Yes, I did use yo yo's kitchen all purpose seasoning. Yeah, I do. I'm so tempted to taste it. But I'm trying to make sure everything marinates properly, you know. And then I want to taste it. I'm just going to see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh -oh. Okay. It needs some salt. I can tell the flavors are coming together, but it does need salt. Okay, so I'm about to put some salt in here. Celtic sea salt. So yes, I just added some salt in there. Okay, y'all. Let me see if I can find my regular salt. I'm trying to think, hey, Kanisha. Does Papano's put tomatoes in their gumbo? Like the diced tomatoes? I'm trying to remember. I think I do recall. I think, I think. I think I recall them using it. Cover this and let it cook, y'all. Okay. I just added a little bit of uh, salt. And I'm also probably going to add some more of my seasoning. Let me see. Okay, that's good. For some strange reason, I want to make it more spicier. I really do. Okay, I don't believe so. I don't remember. It looks so delicious. Thank you. I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it, y'all. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of heat up in there. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay. Yes. All right. So now what I want to do, it's not going to have to cook very, very, very long, but where is my timer? Okay, so what I'm going to do is set it for like 40 or 50 minutes, okay? <laughs> Y'all, this some work. Yes, you can freestyle your gumbo however you want to freestyle your gumbo, okay? But like, you know, like I said, a very... The very, very most important thing is your foundation. Foundation to everything is important, right? You don't have a good foundation. How can it? How can you build on a good foundation? How can you keep building your seasonings and your flavors 
before you have the foundation. So it all comes together, you know. It looks delicious. Thank you, Kanisha. This, uh, for y'all that don't know, I've never even attempted to do a roof from scratch, okay? Usually when people are good at making things, like say person that makes good desserts, I'm not even a dessert person. I will, I know how to make pies and stuff like that, but like cakes and stuff like that, I need to practice more, you know? I'm a cooker. <laughs> So when you're a cooker, I kind of stay in my lane. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know what I'm good at versus to where some things I'm not really. Yes, you can have some, Miss Belle. Like I told my mom them I was making this, but I think what makes the um, soup so good is the andouille sausages. And oh, y'all, look at this. It looks so good. What it is? What is it? <laughs> All right, I'm making a gumbo, y'all. I'm making a shrimp gumbo, andouille sausage. Chicken gizzards are in here. Okay, so I'm about to throw the shrimps up in here in a second. All right. All right, so let me go in and take this lime juice off. All right. So, here's my shrimps, everybody. They're fresh. Can y'all see that? All right, they're fresh from HEB. They've been marinating in, in lime juice and my seasonings, okay? So you already know that it's, it's been sitting in this for a while. So once all these flavors come together, oh shit, that's what I'm missing. God! I knew I was missing something! Oh, I'm I use the cut okra. So, Papa those put okra in their gumbo. I love okra. And I think it tastes good. All right. So, I just added my okra here. Okay. So, I added my okra. Okay. Slowly building it. Slowly building it. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right. So, it's in there. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> I'm over here. Yes, the foundation is very important. Then build it up. That's right. I like the way you talk. Thank you. And I'm quite sure if I see y'all, I hear y'all, I like the way y'all talk too. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank y'all for making this video not be a, a, a you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> people love to dispute gumbo. But you don't have to. You don't have to dispute it. You don't have. It don't have to be. Um, I want to say conversational. <laughs> that's what I want to say, but that's not what I'm trying to say. Oh, it's looking good. Oh my gosh! Look at it. Okay, so I had it open. Okay. And I just added some leftover pieces of drumsticks, as y'all see me did my cooking show at last night. And so I'm quite sure those drumsticks are going to break up because they're already breaking up in there. Okay, so now, the very last thing I'm going to add up in there, y'all, you got to give your gumbo love. You see how long it took to do the foundation. Actually, I know by experience now, I can honestly say, okay, I made one from scratch, scratch. Which is, you know, that's a good thing. So now I can say I made it. I need some more ice. I can't wait to taste it and just sit down and relax. All right. Oh, y'all. This is so good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thought Erica says she loves okra. Antoinette loves okra. Yes, the okra is a must. Lakeisha. I knew you seen my comment. No, I didn't. What did you say, Camille? What did you say? I didn't see it. Y'all know I be doing everything. That is me, Bob. <laughs> I wish I could. I love gizzards in a gumbo. Do you use filet? I did use some filet. I sure did. I put some in there. Yes. I'm about to throw my shrimps. 
I love you. Okay, hold up. I'm just getting to it. I love you. I watch you every chance I get as a stay at home mom of six and a grandbaby. Oh, wow. Thank you, Camille. I appreciate you watching me. See, that's that's the kind of things that give me, you know, y'all, y'all motivate me even more. You know, I'm not, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? But it's, you know, y'all do pay me in a way if you think about it because y'all buy my products. This is one of my marketing strategies, but I love what I do. So I don't think of it like that. You know what I'm saying? I take it upon like, okay, I'm I'm getting more out of it knowing that it makes y'all happy to see me cook something my style. And I'm trying to influence you all to not to be afraid to put your own twist on things. Just because somebody said it don't go like that. No. It can go however you want it to go. Because it's your taste buds. So, you know, girl, I added okra to my black eyed peas. I'm addicted to okra. Oh, wow. Awesome. Okra gumbo is what's up. Yes. I'm making this yo-yo and I'm adding the whole tomatoes that you love. I'm making this. Oh, cool. Look. If y'all make it, whatever style y'all make it, y'all don't have to do it like how I did it. Y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? But whatever, however way y'all choose to go with it, make sure you tag me, please. Because if I do another book, you never know what I'm up to. It's going to get deeper and deeper. I'm going to make you think. And you're going to be like, damn, she done did this with that. Because whenever I do something, I like to bring a difference. I like to make it unique. I, I feel like people is attracted to things that's unique and different. And when you can come across and bring things to people in a different way, I think that captures, it captures their attention, you know? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Simpson. She said like inspiration. Miss Burgess, that's right, yo, yo. Hey, yo, yo, how you, how are you? I'm good. Thank you, Miss Parks. I'm making a gumbo from scratch. <laughs> and it's coming out so good. Okay, so what am I missing? I have added everything. You should get paid. Your food be looking good. Thank you. I do I do dinners for people if they're in Texas and they want me to make something. I don't mind doing that. I like to make dinners. I don't sell plates too much. But um, I could. But I, I like to make the whole meal for people. Okay, so let me go in and start my rice, okay? I 
Yes. So the shrimps are in there, everybody? Yes, it is. I didn't even realize gumbo was that much work. Oh, and let me show you what I did to my shrimp. Oh, you know it's going to be good. Okay. So I butterflied it. I butterflied my shrimps. I cleaned them. You know, you get the little, you got to get the, um. okay, hold on. Let me show you. I butterflied my shrimps, cleaned them real good. Okay. So that's how I did my, sh my shrimps, y'all. Ooh, I can't wait to taste this. Oh, my goodness. Gumbo. Yes. Gumbo make people happy, right? And y'all see I got all that. This is only one thing. To so this is only one. Okay. So now it can slowly cook, okay? It's not a rush for, for it to cook. It's really not. I want to taste the flavors again. I know it's going to be good. I probably add a little bit more of my seasoning. But because I just added the shrimps, my shrimps is marinated in lime juice. And it was also seasoned with Yo-Yo's Kitchen all-purpose seasoning. So hold on. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to taste it again. I'm going to taste it with an okra this time. Let's see. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it is good. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit more. This is giving it a good flavor, the, the gumbo fire. I'm going to put a little bit more, okay? Not a lot, just a little bit, okay? Oh, yes, it tastes good. I'm not going to lie. Okay? And I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit. Oh, look. Look how good the shrimps look, y'all. Oh, sorry, I can't see. Look how good the shrimps look. Oh, look at that. A few pieces of chicken. All right. Pile the shrimps up in there. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more of Yo-Yo's Kitchen all-purpose seasoning. Okay. Bam. That's all I need to do. I got organic basil up in there already. Slowly stir it. All right. It looks beautiful. I'm proud of myself, seriously. Okay, so somebody was asking, oh, they like the gravy dark. Can y'all see? Can y'all see this? Can y'all see that by me adding, cooking the gizzards separately and let them ball? That's what my mama told me to do, right? Adding it. Y'all know me. I like to saute stuff before I add it in my soups because y'all see me watch my soups. So I think of a gumbo like a soup, right? So, um... Within time, that you continue to let the gumbo cook. Okay, I know in the beginning, the beginning you're going to be like, oh, why is it this color? Well, everything has to blend properly. It's going to get darker with the seasonings that you use from the base, from making the roux, of just everything blending together. It's going to make the gravy darker. So that's the reason why I don't worry about the roux turning. I, I, it was a dark color, though. Okay. It was darker than a peanut butter color, that's for sure. Right, Kanisha? Okay, okra turns me on more than my husband. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I think it's as exotic as game or fresh veggies or cookie. <laughs> I never heard of them. You know, basil is a natural aphrodisiac. Did y'all know that? Y'all know I do natural products, so I'll be doing my research. Herbs have a lot of good things for your health you know i'm so happy that my battery didn't hang up on me i'm so happy that y'all tuned in and watch me cook this beautiful gumbo from beginning i will be uploading this video i will be uploading this video to my youtube channel y'all okay so right now i'm gonna put a top on it okay i'm so ready to eat this really i am okay Y'all see how the sausages, it looks like it's a hell of a lot of sausages up in here. It's because of how I cooked it. It's because of how I cut it. That's why it looks like I got my bay leaf up in there. So, you know, the bay leaf is going to give it a really nice flavor. And then, of course, I probably top it out with a little bit of scallion or fresh cilantro. So, you see the bay leaf right there, right? Y'all see it? I got my rice over here cooking. So, my rice is cooking. Does have to, you know, cook for a little bit, right? So I'm going to continue to let this cook, everybody. 
And I did set the timer. I'm gonna let it cook for like maybe 30 more minutes. Okay. And then after it cooks, then I can eat. Yay! Yes, I can. So I'm excited about that part. I don't know why I want to throw a little bit of diced tomatoes up in here, but I'm not. I think I have so much going on with it right now, I don't need anything else, okay? All right, so I'm gonna cover this up. I could have waited like more toward the end to add my shrimps, but it's okay. It's okay, it's not gonna shrink too much, because they're fresh, and I really just want that, you know, fresh taste in it, okay? It's my gumbo. Yes. So, I just created it's oysters and afro. Um, yes, it is oysters are <laughs> oysters are a natural aphrodisiac <laughs> for sure. I don't eat raw oysters. I don't eat raw oysters, but I do like fried oysters from Papa Dolls. I tried to cook oysters one time. When I cooked it, it was okay. It was like, it kind of still had that, that ocean fishy, not fishy, but that ocean smell too much. And that kind of threw me off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But it was, it was, it was, I like Papa Dolls. Yeah, I'm so proud of my gumbo. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. I can't wait to sit down and enjoy this. Okay, y'all, I'm not cooking for like three days now. I don't gave y'all two videos back to back. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just playing. So today, everybody, I created my roux from scratch using flour. And I had used Nutroli. Pure bean, soybean, oil. Or you can use olive oil, whatever type of oil you want to use. It's not a certain type you have to use. Uh, I did put a few pieces of drumsticks that I had left over, so I kind of cheated on that part. I did use andouille sausage. Okay, you can use any sausage you want, but I believe andouille sausage is the right kind of sausage to put in a gumbo. Um, I did put frozen, one bag of frozen okra. I did use a half of a serrano pepper cut into small pieces. Um, I did use distilled water. Okay, I used one whole onion. I also, um, I got one pound of fresh shrimp, one pound of fresh shrimp from H-E-B, okay? You're going to have to add a little bit of salt to taste. I also did chicken gizzards, all right? I'm going to let y'all see this again. And I also added more of my seasoning. So everybody, if y'all don't have my seasonings, make sure you purchase your seasoning, okay? So I have the all-purpose, which is my most popular. I can't keep this stuff. I have chicken spice, okay? They taste very different. This one has more garlic. This one has more minced onion. I use good organic herbs. As you can see, there are no spacers. You're going to get 100% pure organic seasonings. Now, if you love my seasoning so much and you need a bit of order because this one right here, I make for the restaurant and they starting to get two big jugs of it now, okay? So, if you need more, I do sell double batches. The double batch refill is $20. These are $10, okay? So I have curry. I have chicken curry. I have chicken, hey y'all, chicken spice. And I also have, hey y'all, all purpose, okay? It's in a glass container. You can reuse it. That's what's good, okay? And also, make sure you purchase my book, Yo Yo's Kitchen. Cooking with passion, yeah, that's me. First time author, so don't ever let people dictate your life or say what you can and what you cannot do. Your life is what you make of it, okay? Y'all hear my story one day. Alright? You have to you have to you have to have more than one talent. You gotta learn how to do more than one thing because you never know what you'll have to go back to one day. You know what I'm saying? Everything looks delicious. I'm going to continue letting the gumbo cook for a little bit. Maybe about another 30. About another 30 minutes. My rice is over here cooking. I want fresh rice. I will show you my plating of my gumbo. Kept it real simple tonight. I mean today, okay? Sausage. Um, okra. 
a few pieces of drumsticks and dually sausage. Um, and I also have chicken gizzards up in there that I bought first, okay? All right. So, yeah. That's it. That's it, everybody. That's it. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Sorry. I had almost ended the video. <laughs> so I want to thank each and every one of y'all for taking the time out to see me make my shrimp etu, well not etu, my shrimp, oh my gosh, the gumbo done gave me a headache y'all, but I know it's going to taste so good. My shrimp and dooley sausage, okay, gumbo today, if you missed this video, please do a recap. I will be adding this to YouTube. If you are not on my YouTube, please make sure you subscribe to Yo-Yo's Kitchen. All you got to do is type Yo-Yo's Kitchen. You're welcome, Miss Virgin. Make sure you subscribe to Yo-Yo's Kitchen so you can see my videos there. When I'm finishing a food group, I do upload them. It may take me a little time, but I do do them, okay? So, y'all have a good day. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me look at my timing. Oh, damn, it's 2 o'clock. Shit, it's time for me to go. In an hour, it's time for me to go. And I want to eat some gumbo before I leave. All right. Take care. Yo-Yo's Kitchen, Houston, Texas. I'll be back. But right now, it's time to eat some gumbo, y'all. All right. So if y'all make some gumbo and put y'all twist on it, make sure y'all tag me because I would love to see it. Bye, y'all. Have a good day.